Hello. This is the first part of a media server build for home use. Uh, this part is going to consist of all of the unboxing of the new components, uh, which I purchased from Newegg. The parts list will be available online. Alright, first up is some RAM modules. <clears throat> this is optimal. Um, compass, uh, this has optimal compatibility and superior quality according to the back. It's from G Skill and it is uh, two sticks of eight. <clears throat> this is a uh, thumb drive that I'm going to be using to install the operating system with. It's a Kingston uh, 2.0 USB and uh, 8 gigabytes. This is the uh, processor, um, AMD A-series. The power supply, um, 550 watts, uh, ATX 120 volt. It's got uh, an 80 plus gold rating on it. A gigabit motherboard. Um, so there's uh, everything that I need on, on here. It's going to be using, or I'll be using the onboard um, RAID controller to, uh, to manage the hard drives. All right, and here are the hard drives. All right, six of these hard drives are three terabit Western Digital Blue hard drives. Here's one. <clears throat> All of the media for the hard or for the uh, server will be put onto these three terabit hard drives. There's drive two. I'll be using RAID 5 configuration. Drive three. I expect that with the RAID 5 configuration, I'll be getting about 13 uh, terabytes of hard drive space usable. 13 to 13 and a half usable. So one drive always ends up being a redundancy drive with RAID 5. Drive four. And then because of the math that they use to make up the third the three terabits. Drive six. The last drive is what the operating system is going to be on, and it should be a one terabyte Western Digital Blue Drive. And there we go. So this one terabit Western Digital is running at uh, 7,200 RPMs, whereas the three terabit drives are all running at 5,400 RPMs. Um, last up is the uh, case. Hopefully you guys can see this without too much trouble. So this is the case. So we have 
We have power on top, along with two USB 3s, two USB 2s, um, and uh, of course all this fat cooling in the front uh, for the hard drives, which they'll be housed right in this area. All right, thank you for watching uh, the unboxing of the new parts. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next part of unpackaging of the individual components themselves and installation. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Um, please like. Please share your comments. Thank you very much.